As many of you may know by now, one of the best people on the left and one of my dearest friends in the industry passed away yesterday, Michael Brooks. Michael was just hitting the apex of his career. He had just published his book Against the Web. Michael was a completely intellectually honest, open human being, and he was loyal to his friends. He was rightly seen as one of the most important voices on the left, specifically in the realm of international politics. Please go check out his work. The issue of Lula da Silva comes to mind in the political imprisonment of him. Michael was so passionate. He got to meet Lula before he died, and I know how much that meant to him. Um, before he died, it's just... I can't believe I'm saying that. Um, and he brought Lula's imprisonment into leftist political conversations in the United States in a way that only someone of his moral fiber and passion could do. He was passionate, but he was focused. And that's, you know, something that I strive for. And I think a lot of people in this space should. Um, because... I, it's easy to just be angry all the time, but Michael, he wasn't, you know? He really did believe in the power of empowering um, everyday working people. And look, he was, we would have disagreements, but I always knew Michael was coming from a principled place, different than some online leftists who just cater to their audience. I mean, when Tulsi Gabbard was a prime example. He defended me and Anna from all these online attacks um, because he knew, no, she's garbage. I'm not gonna, <laughs> she's garbage, but her foreign policy is garbage. That's my perspective. I'm not gonna cater to an online audience just to get clicks because the way Michael gained popularity was just by being himself and I can't tell you guys how rare that is in this industry because there are a lot of people that just tell people what they want to hear and Michael wasn't one of them and he saw the big picture in a way that most people most leftists don't and you know, again, we had many disagreements, say, on Elizabeth Warren and things like that, but I always knew where Michael was coming from, and I always knew that I could learn something from him. Always. Um, he was a rare, completely intellectually honest voice on the left in this space. It's really hard. There are a lot of people who just aren't who they appear to be on camera, I'll be honest with you guys. Um... You know, everyone I work with now, I would include in Michael's category. They are great people, but I have worked with some people in the past who just, they're, they're not. And Michael was. And Michael was very loyal to me. And he would always have a kind word to say. And it's really easy to feel insecure when you're talking to people and you're on camera. And Michael would always lift me up and I could text him and say, you know, I'm not, I feel like I'm questioning myself here or, you know, I, I don't know what I'm doing. And it was so simple, but he would respond with always encouragement because he, he, he was that kind of person. And I don't know. I mean, I, I, I cried so long last night and I... I'm just, I, I'm vacillating b between numbness and, and disbelief. And I just, I don't know how to do him justice, but I, I will try because Michael was, you know, one of my favorite people to work with. So I, I just, I'm, I'm so sorry to even, I knew him more through work, but his loved ones, I, I, I don't want to overstate, you know, my grief, it can't, their grief is, I'm sure, so much more poignant and so much deeper right now. And to everyone who knew him so closely, and Matt and David and Sam and everyone at the Majority Report team who I love dearly too, I'm, I'm just so sorry. And please everyone just check out the Michael Brooks show and, re and remember Michael.